All right, let's go. I'm Adam Sawatska. My wife, Mary, and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I've hunted my entire life. I shot my first white-tailed deer with a compound bow at 11. Mary also hunted with me for a number of years before the children came and life got too busy. A few years ago, we purchased a trip donated by Skulk Paneer Safaris to come to Namibia to hunt plains game. We had an amazing time and Mary and I were able to share the love of hunting with Kathy. We came back again with the children a year later to hunt with Skulk and it was an incredible hunt for all of us. Since that first trip, Mary talked often about being able to hunt buffalo in the Capri. Then COVID came, we had to put the trip off for several years. We are thrilled to be back in Africa and to be on the hunt that Mary has dreamed about for years. Where a man feels at home, outside of where he's born, is where he's meant to go. Ernest Hemingway, 1935, Green Hills of Africa. The buffalo were scarce for some reason. Skulk said several times how surprised he was that they should have been numbering in the thousands. They were hiding. We did not give up. We chased a particular group of bulls for three days. We got close several times. One of the bulls stood out. He was massive and very old, a true trophy. He had also been attacked by a lion 10 nights prior and was missing his tail. We called him Stumpy. The third night, just as the sun was setting, we tracked the group of old bulls to the edge of the marsh. There was Stumpy, sitting in the dimming sunlight. Skulk positioned Mary for a shot, but it all happened so fast. Soon he was running into the bush, a place known as Lion's Bush. We followed after them, quietly, into the darkness. Finally, Mary was in position. <laughs> was able to make the shot. Stumpy was down. Now, being in Africa, I was hungry for more of it. The changes of the seasons, the rains with no need to travel, the discomforts that you paid to make it real, the names of the trees, of the small animals, and of the birds. To know the language and to have time to be in it, and to move slowly. Ernest Hemingway, 1935, Green Hills of Africa.
Just keep watching, you can get up at any minute. There's so much I love about being in the Caprini. It's not developed. It's not commercialized. When I'm in the Caprivi, I recognize the wildness of what Hemingway wrote about nearly 90 years ago in the Green Hills of Africa. It's not just about the hunting. We have seen night skies without light pollution, sunsets with roaming elephants without air pollution. There are animals and birds and trees that we have never seen before. The baobab trees that are still standing have been there for literally thousands of years. Missing my bull. One aspect of hunting that is, is that nothing is guaranteed. You can work hard, you can get close. You can take your best shot. The animal can turn its head or jump at the last minute and miss or get a bad hit. 
Hunting gives you the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. When we arrived to the Caprivi, we were not birders. We started to count the species and have seen more than a hundred. We've already downloaded apps and bought books and have a newfound appreciation for our feathered friends.
All I wanted to do now was get back to Africa. We had not left it yet. But when I would wake up in the night, I would lie, listening. Homesick for it already. Ernest Hemingway, 1935, Green Hills of Africa. <laughs>